Hi, my lovely Frosty fam. It's me, Karen Frost, here at Nail Decadence with another video. Um, this one's coming out a bit sooner than uh, <laughs> the one before the last. Try to get a few more videos out. Um, been a bit of a rough ride. Long, yeah, well, ready talked about that in the other video so I won't go into it but the lovely people at Born Pretty have sent me some goodies to play with again which I am very very thank you thankful for so thank you very much Born Pretty for working with me again so these are the products that I got in my little haul from them and uh, I'm just going to show you the bits and bobs that I got and then I'm going to try them out, test them out kind of thing, give them a try and then I'm actually going to do a nail design with them, well with some of them. So if you want to skip the haul, you saw the time stamp in the corner of the screen, you can go straight to you know me trying trying the bits out um but yeah so this these are all the bits that i got so quite a lot to play with this pat paint gel you can use it as a drawing gel you can use it for like um what it says you can sort of use it to sponge on to uh the nail to sort of get an ombre layer it up um pretty cool and you can obviously do a full full cover nail of it you know um but yeah i thought i'd try that out it's um it's not super super runny the um as you saw there it was kind of tilted to the side because that's how it came in the um in the parcel it was on its side so it did settle later on it just it does sort of settle down back into the bottom of the pot it was only on the side um, because of the way it was sitting in the package but yeah and then I got this metallic um, painting gel you've seen me use the silver one and I mentioned in the last uh, PR haul from Born Pretty that they sent me the wrong one uh, because I already had the silver they sent me the silver one again but this time they sent me the one uh, that isn't silver <laughs> losing my words there because there's there's three different colors of the metallic one uh, you got the gold, the silver, and this sort of rose gold one. And this is the rose gold one, is what I was trying to say. And they also sent me some some more brushes. Pretty cool. So I'm going to uh, try those out for you. You'll see. You'll see me have a little play. I'm not using this side of the brushes this in this video. I'm using the uh, sort of the drawing liner type, type brushes. But yeah, they are. There's some gel brushes on the on the other side. So they're, they're dual ended. Pretty handy. Pretty handy. And these are the fine liners. Now, I I actually really enjoyed using those fine liners. They work really nicely, but I will show you. So I've got this sort of jewellery picker up a crystal thing. Um, and I f find that handy to use when I'm like stamping nails um, to clean the stamping plates. I normally put like a cotton ball and grab it with that so that I'm not having to get... Uh, nail polish removal all over my fingers and stuff so I thought you know what I'm gonna because I, I couldn't for the life of me I couldn't find my little sponges that I'd normally you know sponge and an ombre with so I just thought you know what I'm just gonna use my little crystal picker upper thing there's a link in my um, description box if anyone's interested in getting one um, on my Amazon storefront it's it's in there if anyone wants to get one they're, they're, they're not expensive but anyway um, yeah, so I thought, you know what, I'll just use a lint-free wipe um, instead of a sponge and see how it goes. And yeah, it, it actually worked. So if you can't <laughs> find any sponges, there you go. I mean, yes, I could have cut up a washing up sponge, just grabbed a new washing up sponge and cut that up. But I thought, you know what, let me just try it with a lint-free wipe. And it, yeah, it did the job. So you can do use a sponge or you can use a lint free wipe and it, it gives you a nice ombre effect it's really quite handy so I thought I'd test it out obviously um, I did the um, 
swatches off camera so you guys didn't have to watch me you know because it can get a bit boring doing the um, swatches of the basic colors so this was the baby blue obviously that you saw me show in the beginning and um, that's what it looks like and now I'm you know having a play with the pat paint gel um, to do a little ombre and see how it looks and it actually looks really nice I think it looks a bit like a cloud in a blue sky so that would be a nice um, design to do I don't actually do that with in this video make it a, a sort of sky themed design but um, yeah it's definitely something you can do is uh, make it make it into a sort of blue cloudy sky yeah I think that will look nice and I decided that I'm um, I wasn't going to use the cat's eye gel because I normally always use the cat's eye gel because I love them. So I decided in this video, no, I'm not going to use the cat's eye gel. I'm going <laughs> to try something different instead of always doing the cat's eye gel. I love it though. You know how I feel about cat's eye gels. They are just so gorgeous. And this pink is beautiful on the cat's eye gel as you saw in the, in the uh, um, swatches. Have I shown the swatches of that yet? Oh gosh, look, I'm losing my marbles. Anyway, it's a beautiful cat's eye gel. So just going to give that metallic uh, paint a stir. And then I'm going to test out this brush and the metallic painted gel. Um, just a basic design of a butterfly. Nothing difficult because I can't draw for toffee and my hands shake an awful lot. So yeah, just a, just a basic design to see how... The brush works and how the metallic gel flows and I can say both worked really well um, the firmer you are when you press down the brush brush the thicker your line will become if you use a lighter touch you'll get a nice really thin stroke so it's definitely a um, a nice brush I was really not being funny but I was surprised at how well I got on with the brush it works really nicely so yeah, I can say that I highly recommend these these liners. Um, I haven't tried the other side of the double-ended brush. Like I said, I haven't tried the sort of the um, the the thicker brushes, but the liner brushes, I really enjoyed using them. So I kept the the little plastic um, covers so that I can still store them in my um, brush pot. So without damaging the bristles on either side of the brush otherwise you could keep it in a drawer because they don't come with lids that's the only thing with double-ended brushes um, when you want to put them into a pot standing up um, I'd, I'd say keep the little plastic um, protectors because that way you can stand them in the pot otherwise you'll have to lay them down in a drawer or a container or something but yeah that's up, that's up to you how you store your brushes but yeah I really enjoyed using these um yeah I, I, they, they, they impressed me yeah they were good surprisingly <laughs> no offense no offense more pretty but I was yeah they were really good so I'm just gonna um Top coat these now the metallic drawing gel is tack free but I would recommend top coating it anyway so that you protect the metallic effect because I've noticed if you if you don't um, top coat it and then you cream your hands you lose the metallic shine so always top coat it and this is this is what it, the uh, they all all the colors look like and as you can see look at that pink oh <gasps> look at that that cat's eye is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, love it. And of course I did the velvet effect, you know what I'm like. So yeah, so for the design that I'm going to do, these are the ones that I've chosen to use. Um, like I said, the baby blue type colour, very pretty, it's nice blue. I'm going to use this uh, Nail Tips Gel, which is in baby pink, it's a nice pink colour. I'll show you, there we go. So I didn't swatch that, so I thought, you know what, I'll just show you what it looks like again. Because some people skip the haul part. So I'm sorry if you already watched the haul part and you're seeing these products again. But some people skip the haul part, so I wanted to still show the bits that I actually used to create the nail um, set that I did. So that's the Battle Angel Drawing Gel, which is a rose gold colour. 
it's really nice it's lovely to work with it, it draws really smoothly it does there's no drag it just it flows really nice and then the paint pet gel which is good for ombres if you use a sponge or like I do with just a lint-free wipe and just dab it dab it on to get an ombre it works really well then I've got the super top coat which obviously more top coat over and these are the two brushes that I use for the design I use the striper end or the liner brush end of these dual ended brushes and just in case you skip the whole part I really enjoyed using these brushes I haven't used the gel side but the striper part oh yeah Got on really well with them really impressed highly recommend them anywho so on to the design now we've got all of that out of the way so i'm just going to prepare my base nails for the uh full cover tips so when you are preparing nails so we're pretending your hand doll is real and this is uh somebody's real nails natural nails of course uh, you want to remove the shine from the natural nails obviously you want to push back cuticles but Dolly doesn't really have any so uh, there were none for me to push back <laughs> but you want to push back your cuticles and then you want to remove any cuticle from the nail plate and then remove the shine from the nails and just make sure that it's um, a little bit etched you know like, what you don't want to do is remove layers and layers and layers of nails you are literally just removing the shine from the nail that's it nothing else then use a bit of acetone or rubbing alcohol wipe over the nails that will dehydrate them and remove the dust at the same time then you can go straight into applying the uh the cut full cover tips using the nail tips gel um i don't always base coat with this because i've noticed it sticks really well on the natural nail so you don't necessarily need to base coat with it so that's why I haven't base coated um, I tend to apply each nail obviously one at a time but flash cure it to just hold it in place so that I don't knock you know when any of the other uh, nails that I've done previously so yeah I'll just keep adding the nails on now you'll see I just put a small amount into the cuticle well area and then as I place the tip down onto the nail, I do it at an angle so that I'm rocking the nail down, uh, the nail tip down onto the base nail, and so that the gel flows from cuticle to free edge. And once it gets far enough down that free edge and it's all sort of um, all air pockets are out, that's when I'll flash cure it in place. And once I've flash cured them all in place and they, it all looks good, good, and I've made sure it's all nice and straight, then I will give it a full cure for 60 seconds to make sure, obviously, that it's, it is all properly fully cured. And then I will use another lint free wipe with some rubbing alcohol just to make sure that any of the gel that uh, squished out any of the sides or underneath I remove the tacky layer from that and then I will use my hand file and just tidy up any of the sides sort out the the very tip of the uh, nail because obviously they they can be a bit sharp at the very tip so you want to just sort of smooth that off make sure it's uh, it's all all right and like I said file any of the um, gel that has squished out the sides if any is squished out the sides you won't necessarily have any that squished out the sides I did on a couple not a lot but yeah this is the time to just tidy tidy things up a bit but obviously because they are full cover tips um there's not a lot of filing to do which is a win-win for me and my my poor little hands um it's uh so much quicker for me to do a set like this obviously you saw in the other video I did a full acrylic set you know I still love love doing that but playing with these full cover tips when I'm having a bad day with my hands and I can't do my own nails these full cover tips just come in so much handy and the brown tubes of the um, nail tips gel and the little pots of the um, solid gel for applying these tips are really good I, I really really like wearing them and they wear well I had some on for like four weeks no no problems no issues it's crazy it is really good stuff so yeah 
I um, I do like Born Pretty. The more I've used of their stuff, the more I like it. And before I started um, reviewing stuff for them, I had already purchased a few of their products before anyway, because they've been in around for the in the industry for years. And uh, especially when I was first starting out and I couldn't get my hands on professional products, Born Pretty were just really, really good to get products from. Um, it gives you access when you're not a qualified nail tech but you want to do your own nails at home it just it just works born pretty stuff just work it's, they, they they are actually really good so just uh yeah don't don't frown upon them because you think oh it's a um it's a cheaper brand blah because you know just some expensive brands aren't great so i've got some nice brands i've got some cheaper brands but I use what works and what I like um, as opposed to going by, you know, name brands and, and stuff like that. If it works and it's good quality, then I don't see a problem with it. Um, I would suggest you do your research and make sure that, you know, you look at safety data and stuff and make sure the products are safe for you to use and that you know what you're doing of. But yeah, if you're just doing your nails at home and you're careful about your application and stuff, then um, yeah, Born Pretty is really good. I, I highly recommend it. And you've seen me use Born Pretty stuff on my own nails. Um, I wouldn't do that if I didn't trust the products, you know, so anywho, as I was waffling on, <laughs> we got on with, uh, with the design. I, you saw, I removed the shine from the nail tips, um, and then removed all the dust and, and wiped it over with some rubbing alcohol to make sure that none of the, uh, moisturizers from the soap from where I washed the hand uh, make sure I remove all that before I started applying the gel polish so yeah I'm applying the baby blue in um, well it's full full cover on three of the nails and then as you saw on the ring finger I've done a sort of wavy uh, diagonal line nothing uh, too extravagant but I think these came out quite nicely. You let me know what you think because I, I didn't want to make a complicated design. I want this to be easy for a beginner to do because a lot of beginners will look at, you know, full cover tips and what to do with gel polish and how to make, you know, just one color of gel polish a bit more exciting. And this is, this is one way to do it um, because I've got the, uh, pink nail tips gel on the underneath the clear tip it means I didn't have to worry about um, putting down a pink a cover pink on the um, nail plate area so I just sort of work with what I've got and it just gives you a, a little bit of an idea of, of things you can do so obviously I'm going to apply the second layer of this uh, gorgeous baby blue color I've got to sort out the settings on my camera. This looks so bright that you can't really see the uh, the color of the blue properly. I'll, I'll have a mess around with my settings on my camera. I think the exposure needs to be um, lowered a little bit because yeah, it looks a bit too bright on here. And it's kind of washing out the blue. It is a really nice baby blue, but yeah, a bit too bright. The light is a bit too bright. You're not, you're not really seeing it very well. I will adjust my settings on my camera, don't worry. So just the second layer. Always remember when you are applying gel polish, keep your layers nice and thin and even. And you, you'll notice that when I apply the gel polish, I don't start at the cuticle area immediately. I deposit some of the gel polish from the brush onto the center of the nail first. Then I go to the cuticle area and use strokes to um, go from cuticle to free edge um, in a nice smooth motion to make sure that the gel polish is nice and evenly coating the nail but that I'm not um, putting on too much just, just keep your layers thin that way it will cure properly and it won't wrinkle um, gel polish can no matter what brand it is it can wrinkle if you um, use too much at a time and it might not cure all the way through so that when you're going to remove it you know it can cause irritation on your on your fingers and that's the last thing you want is um, dust from removing gel polish all over your hands when 
the gel polish hasn't been cured because that can lead to irritation and contact dermatitis on your hands, on your skin. So you, do, you really want to make sure that your uh, polish is properly cured. And it also it's very handy to use um, the LED UV light that goes with the brand that you're using because they all, all gel, all gel polishes cure under a, a, you know, an LED UV lamp. However, um, they have different wavelengths. So do bear in mind that if you want to ensure thoroughly that your gel polish is being cured properly, then you want to check the wavelength of the gel polishes and make sure that your lamp coincides with that or buy a lamp from that brand because they will have already um, made those calculations in their formulation of the lamp and um, the gel polishes to, to work together to make sure that there's a full cure going on. Anywho, I'm using that paint gel um, and I'm just doing some, some basic uh, wavy line designs on the nail as you saw. I'm using the, um, the striker brush and well liner brush, yeah it's a liner brush and yeah I was really really happy with with how how well it worked like I said the firmer you press down with the brush the thicker the line will be if you give it a, a, a lighter touch as you're applying you know the brush to the nail you'll get a nice thin line so yeah it all, all depends on how you how you hold the brush I kept getting fluff from my um my my uh my top my jumper oh it was really annoying kept getting fluff from that on the nails so i was just yeah removing that didn't want to get it stuck into the um the gel polish so i'm using that paint gel the same as you saw me do it with um on the practice tip where i was just sort of testing it out to see how it works and so yeah i'm just doing a ombre with the lint-free wipe, the jewellery picker, like I said uh, earlier, um, if you're after one, it's in my Amazon storefront, the link is in the description box. But yeah, I'm just sort of making sure that the tip is nice and opaque and that it fades down as it goes further down um, the nail so that it fades into the blue. And it did give me a nice ombre, I was quite happy with that. And then I'm using one of the other striper brushes to give me a sort of wavy line of the rose gold. Like I said before, it's a simple design, but it gives it a little, you know, bit of excitement, bit of something different using the uh, metallic rose gold. I thought it, it, it stood out nicely against the background of the blue. So I just, I wasn't happy with that wavy line, so just removed some with a bit of rubbing alcohol my my little bear cleanup brush and then I've gone back to the middle finger and I'm just sort of following that um, triangular type stripe that I did with the white um, just sort of following that with the rose gold and I'm sort of having a look at it and thinking mm, do I want to add some more do I not do I do do I so yeah um I sort of had an idea of the design I wanted to do but as you as I started doing it I was like oh shall I add a bit more so initially I was only going to do these two lines on this one with the metallic but um as I was looking at it I thought you know what I'll, I'll go um, I'll add another two lines, so it ended up being four lines of the metallic rose gold. I wasn't happy the way that line was going, so easily removed it with the rubbing alcohol and my cleanup brush. It's one thing I love about um, gel polish. It's if you, as long as you haven't cured it yet, you can just um, remove it and start again. So I thought I'd flash cure that in place because I'm going to add two more lines and I don't want to, um, just in case I mess up and I need to remove it, I didn't want to disturb the other lines that I'd already done. So I thought, you know what, let me flash cure that in place. And uh, that way, if I mess it up, it's, I'm not going to ruin what I've already done. So yeah, there we go. Happy with that now. 
and then I decided I thought to add some dots and then I was looking at it and I was like mm. I was using a really tiny dotting tool and I was looking at it and I really didn't like it so there we go use my brush <laughs> to rub the alcohol remove it I love it it's like magic etch a sketch start again <laughs> remove those dots and then I'm going to um, I'm, I'm going to put some other dots on you'll see in a minute so I haven't I haven't flash cured this yet I haven't cured it yet in place I'm taking a risk and I've moved on to the index finger I thought you know what let me do this finger and then I'll have a think about the dots I will go back to them though um, I was doing sort of a um, kind of like a cuticle cuff type of effect so I'm just going following the cuticle area in the semicircle and then I'm also going to go along the um, outside of the nail so I'm sort of going to edge round it with the rose gold sort of frame it and this this uh, I was really happy with the way these brushes if only my hands wouldn't shake so much it would be so much easier for me so if your hands aren't shaking you'll like these brushes because <laughs> even if if I can do this with my shaky hands, I know you guys who don't have shaky hands will um, do so much better. And those who can draw way better than I can. Because I can't really draw. I've just, yeah, no. My artistic skills are not great. I <laughs> can't draw for Toffee. But um, we can, I can manage some lines. <laughs> but it's a simple design, but it's effective. It doesn't have to be elaborate. You don't have to draw cartoon characters uh, all the time, you know? You can do it's a simple design. Not that I can draw cartoon characters, don't get me wrong, I really can't. <laughs> I'd love to be able to do that, but yeah, no, that's just never gonna happen, not for me. I have tried to learn how to draw and it just, I'm useless at it. <laughs> I'll stick to what I know for now. Once I'm happy with that, I will cure it, of course. Just sort of making sure that um, when I turn to the side that I can still, you know, see enough of the outline. So I don't want it to be too thick of a, li a line, but you know, it just, I wanted a nice outline. So that's what I did. And then you saw, I just add some dots and I was just giving it a look. Do I, do I need to add anything else? Am I happy with this? And I was happy with it. So now it's time to top it off and keep it tough. Oh yes. So I'm going to top coat seal in that design and make sure it all stays in place. But it also means that we are at the end of the video. So I'd like to say thank you ever so much, uh, Born Pretty and you guys for coming to this video, spending some of your most precious time with me. I appreciate it ever so much. Um, yeah, I, I know it's, it's um, my channel's up and down, but I'm still here. I'm still here, I promise. <laughs> if you have not done so already, please go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know the next time I upload a video because I'm random. And <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, it's helped you in any way, shape or form. Please go ahead and click that like button for me. It means so much to my little channel. It takes but a second to do. And if you feel like it, you're more than welcome to leave me a comment. I am very happy to talk to you. Don't forget, at the end of the video, there is some video footage and some photos of the finished design. I hope you've enjoyed it. But yeah, that's all I've got for this time, peeps. You take care now, and I will speak to you all again very, very soon. Hopefully not as, uh, as long as it was last time. <laughs> take care now, peeps. Bye for now. So now